Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's look, I created this classic silver cut crease. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. And if you like this video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up to help us out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is grabbing my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And I'm just going to use that as a primer. So I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid, blend it out with a damp beauty sponge, and then set it in place with some translucent powder. Next, I'm taking this Smolder Cosmetics Highlighter in Golden Glow, and I'm just going to be using this as my brow bone highlight. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Canvas in my Morphe 39A palette, and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to be applying that in my crease as my transition shade, going in back and forth motions. Next, I'm going to be going into the shade Vivid, and a more defined angled brush and I'm just going to be putting that above my actual crease drawing a line and winging it out towards the end going in with a smaller brush is really going to help with the control over the eyeshadow and then I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush and go back into that canvas shade just to really blend out that line and I'm just going in back and forth motions until the line is more blended. Time continues marching, it slowly crawls. With each new one starting. Next, I'm going to be going into the shade Passion, and I'm taking a really small angled brush. I believe this brush is from ColourPop. And I'm just going to be drawing it over where we applied that vivid eyeshadow. So we're just drawing the line over the exact same spot and then we're going to go back in with a fluffy brush to really merge all those shadows together. And then going back into Vivid and Canvas, I'm just going to be blending that right over the line and as you can see we have a really diffused look. And then I'm going to go back in with that Makeup Forever concealer and I'm just going to be cleaning up the lid space with this flat concealer brush and then I'm going to be going in with some translucent powder to set the concealer in place before we go in with the eyeshadow. And that's just really going to help the eyeshadow that we apply to really stay in place and not move around too much, especially since we're going in with a really foiled eyeshadow. Next, I'm going into the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, and I'm taking the shade Drippin' Diamonds. And I love this eyeshadow. It is so gorgeous, and it was really easy to work with. I just wet my brush so that it just glided on a little bit easier. And I'm just going to be packing that all over the lid. And then for eyeliner, I use the Smashbox Always On Liquid Liner. And as you can see, when I remove that tape, it just creates such a beautiful straight wing. For lashes, I'm going in with Sophie Bella Bali Lashes. The link for these lashes will be in the description box below. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave for eyeliner, I used my LA Girl Black Pencil. And then I went in with my Pop Beauty Celestial Light Highlighter in my inner tear duct just to add a little bit of a pop for the inner corner. And then I went back in with the eyeshadow called Vivid and I just smoked that out on my lower lash line, focusing on the outer corner. And then I went in with the eyeshadow called Passion and I just focused that also on the outer corner, just going in back and forth motions. And then lastly, I just applied some lower lash mascara to finish off the eye look.
and this is the finished look guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one